Hi guys! <laughs> My upstairs neighbors have been having like a three day party. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just doing my best. Welcome to my Faded AF series. <laughs> Normally with these videos, I film the intro and then smoke, but like, look. Not only are we all adults, but we are also friends. So I already smoked. <laughs> Here's footage of me smoking revolutionary. <laughs> Today is very exciting. I am unboxing this thread up package that I ordered. I am so excited. I haven't done a thrift haul in so, so long. This is a big thrift haul. And I also never really tried out thread up. Also, I only ever see sponsored thread up videos. So I am making mine unsponsored, which is why I can be faded AF because these are my rules now, bitches. <laughs> That was really aggressive. Here's how the video is gonna work. I wrote it down on paper. First, I'm gonna unbox everything, show you guys my reaction. Then I'm going to try everything on and style it if I feel like it. I can't give you any promises. <laughs> then I'm gonna give a wrap up review on Thread Up because I feel like it's important and I definitely have thoughts. Oh, and I'm also gonna choose what I think is the best item and what I think is the worst item just because I think that would be a fun activity. <laughs> Hi, Noki. Can you move from the box? Thank you. No. Okay, I am excited. Loki, I already took a peek. I'm sorry. I just, I had to, but I didn't unwrap anything. No, I did one thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, first of all, hello, Vivian Westwood, Melissa Flats. This is why I made the order. My birthday's coming up. I wanted to get me a birthday gift. And these were on like a really good sale. And like, they were my size and I just really wanted them, okay? Ballet flat still scares me. This is gonna be hard to style, I'm not gonna lie. But they fit me really good. Oh, I'll show you guys them later. And they're brand new, amazing. Okay, okay. Then I got this Lululemon set. I found these separately. They matched perfectly, so I got them and they were both in my size. Literally, how cute are the shorts? I wanted this so that it would motivate me to work out so that I can post a mirror selfie on Instagram afterwards and be like, workout done. I'm a whore for that. American Apparel dress. Okay, I got this because it was giving like Rick Owens <laughs> and I just wanted to try it out. Originally $42. Wow, the tags are on it. Brand new. Wow, you can really find brand new things on Thredda. Kind of a flex for them. But this is not telling me the size and it looks big. I don't know. I'm scared on that. I'm mad about this and maybe it's my fault, but in the picture it looked gray. Tell me not. Doesn't this look gray? But now I'm seeing it's purple. I looked at the description and it says gray slash purple. So it is my fault. But like, why does the picture look like that? But it has a cutout. And this is by Wilfred Free from Maritzia. And that brand always fits me really well. What is this? Oh, okay. This is a American Apparel maxi skirt. I'm actually excited for this. I think it's cute. Good basic. Ooh. Okay, okay. This is also American Apparel. I was kind of like shopping by brand on there because it was easiest that way. Stay tuned for the review at the end, okay? I have been loving mesh lately, so we'll see. Again, I didn't think that this was purple, but maybe the universe is telling me to wear more purple. I don't love the color, but... It's okay. What is this? Oh, I was excited for this actually. This is another skirt. This is again by Wilfred. And again, I just know that this brand fits me well and the material is always pretty nice. I have really been liking the ruching and like deconstructed vibe. This is not really too much like that, but it's like me inching my way, okay? One day I will get like a Rick Owens piece and we'll see how that goes. But until then, I'm trying the style. Then I got two pairs of shoes. I found these. I'm so Sorry, why is this so overexposed? Is the camera messed up? Because if so, that's gonna bother me so much. It's okay. These are like mules, <laughs> Nike mules. And I actually saw these in the Nike outlet store. So I almost bought these new, which like I have not purchased new from Nike in so long. So it was like a torn feeling in me. I was like, am I really gonna buy them? But I saw them on ThreadUp. So see, the universe was telling me, just wait. 
just wait and you will find them and i'm pretty sure they were cheaper too honestly i just really wanted to try out this style i love wearing slippers outside so i felt like this would be a good option they're just a vibe like if you get it you get it if you don't you don't and that's okay you don't have to like what i like it is very cool to be different <laughs> okay but these I'm excited. I literally had these in middle school in mint green and like low-key I've been seeing them pop up lately. I think because of like the rise in ballet core and like cozy things and just like leg warmers like this is literally a built-in leg warmer. Noki, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what I was going to say Oh, no, nah, no, he. Oh my god, baby, you're wearing it like a shirt. He was inside of this tube, and he was wearing it like a tube top. <laughs> my little fashionista. <laughs> Back to the fucking Uggs. I don't like the ethics of Uggs as a company, but Uggs kind of did something with this one. I liked it in middle school, and I still like it now, so that really says a lot. All right, that was everything. Let's try it all on. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> I feel like this emoji. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. The bad bitch is back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this dress first because I think it's gonna be bad. <laughs> okay. Huh, I, I see why the tag is still on it. I have my mirror over here, by the way, so. I'm be looking at it. Okay, I think this just is too big on me. Or maybe it's supposed to fit a little looser. I want it to be snatched. <laughs> you know, serving. I want to serve. I don't feel like I'm serving. <sighs> I'm gonna say, if I alter this to be tighter, I might actually really like it. But as of right now, it's not making me feel cute at all. All. It's not that bad. It's just like, oh no, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't even want to style it. I'm sorry, guys. We're going on to the next. I like this one. I like this one. Tell me this isn't cute. This is so cute. This is so cute. Also, I knew that Lululemon was good quality. I used to shop from Lululemon all the time. It's making me want to work out, actually. Like, I actually want to work out in it. I want to try this on with the little slides that I got. These kind of match. Ah, they're so cute. Is this recording? It better fucking be recording. Okay, okay. Can you see the shoes? How cute are the shoes? Maybe not with these socks because like the color is off, but actually it matches with the set so cute. I have to say the quality of this and just like the cut of everything is making me feel so confident. I just feel happy and that's kind of why I love online thrifting because you can really find like really good quality brands. You don't have to go and purchase from those brands for whatever reason, whether it be you don't want to support them or if it's just cheaper secondhand or you just want to reduce your footprint by shopping secondhand there's so many great things about thrifting <laughs> all right i'm doing the purple dress even though i'm like not excited at all you know what it's cute it fits me really nicely see i knew my size in these brands so it was like easy to find things it just hit me that i'm really high like i'm smoking so much for this video for you guys i hope you know that look at my face it felt like we just made eye contact, like that was real for me. As real as it was for you, it was for me. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is cute. This thing back here, that's really, really cute. I kind of don't like the swoop on the bottom. A part of me wants to just like whoop, cut it. And you know, I'm unpredictable. Sometimes I just have impulses and it just happens one day. The thing is, look, you don't really see the gap. What is the point of it? Like if it doesn't just show, like, look, 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 it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. This color, this plum. I will say, I think it actually looks nice on my skin tone. I'm just like, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to match with it. Okay, this is what I would do. Just this. This is all I can offer. If my hair was out, I could do that. I would be satisfied. Yeah, okay. This just is not serving like I want it to. Um, 
but it's trying. I don't know, but I want to take this off. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Okay, let's do this skirt because I think it will be good. This is so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god. You could wear it high-waisted. I realize I'm not a high-waisted girl. Like, it literally just doesn't make me feel good about my body. Like, when I have things high-waisted, I feel like, why do I look like that? But when I have things low-waisted, I'm like, my body looks nice. I look snatch. I don't like that illusion that high waist gives to me. I look, like, shorter or, like, squished. This is giving body yachty. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, this is the American Apparel skirt. It has a slit, but it's just a maxi. It actually fits me perfectly maxi, which is crazy. This is actually pretty cute. Aww, wholesome. Wholesome. I actually really, really like this skirt. Oh, the tag is out. I mean, again, American Apparel is questionable. Like, they were pretty good on, like, ethics and sustainability and stuff, but, like, the fucking head was a creep. So it's like, can anybody win? I don't think it can be possible to be perfect. So then what? How do you support companies? It's, it's, you know, whatever. Anyways, besides that, American Apparel always has amazing material. So like when I shop secondhand, like when I'm on Depop or Third Up, whatever, I'm always looking up American Apparel because I know it fits me, I know my size, and I know that it's probably gonna slay. Except that first dress. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I forgot about it for a second. It was terrifying. This? is kind of giving. <laughs> I kind of like it. I actually love it with like the black underwear, but I think it would also look very cute with white underneath. The sleeves need something, like I might even just cut a hole. Did I just cut a hole right now? Cause I know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I get impulsive and I just do things cause I think it's a good idea. And if I wait too long, I won't do it. kind of bad we're gonna deal with that another day okay guys i really like this i think that i would style it with silver accessories so <gasps> hold up i finally have a dress that kind of matches with these i don't have high hopes that this is gonna look good but i'm at least gonna try it it's like i can never find anything to match with these shoes except black <sighs> actually not that bad no that's actually cute. Okay, that's cute, but I cut it in the wrong hole. I mean, I cut the hole in the wrong spot. But I can do this one correct. Let's do it. It's like, do I learn my lesson? No, I literally don't. I don't learn my lesson. Honestly, didn't that make it better? This isn't my greatest work, but I am satisfied with this outfit. <laughs> Last thing before the shoes is the skirt. Okay, I wanted to, you know, do something a little different, dress up a little bit for you guys. This skirt is cute. It's not as dramatic as I thought it would be. <gasps> I literally, I'm about to put a safety pin because that's cuter. Actually, I saw something really cool. It was like a TikTok or a reel. They used a choker to like cinch their skirt and i've actually been wanting to try it oh my god actually hold up am i a designer okay i can't take credit for the hack but like guys i think i did something with this actually that's like kind of really cool this is actually pretty cute like this Besides that though, like the skirt itself is very cute. It's fitting me good. It's making the booty look nice. What can I say? All right, let's take this out so we can just judge it. Even though that was really a serve. Again with this one, it can be low-waisted or high-waisted. But I live for the low waist. I like it. Do I love it? Like am I obsessed? Like this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. No, I think I will get use out of it because it's a basic. Let's style the shoes. I really want to style these in like some ballet core outfit, so I'm gonna do that right now and come back. Oh my god, look at this bow. I got it on sale at five below. This is so cute, this little outfit. I really love it. I mean, I don't know how I feel about Uggs in the summer, but I've been seeing it lately, so like, I don't know, we'll see. But I think I'm really going to wear these with leggings all the time. Time. I'm so happy about them. I kind of like love this outfit. It's giving me like a whole personality. I have a new personality in this outfit. I'm so happy to have these shoes. Oh my god. I feel like a ballerina and I wouldn't have it any other way. But I don't want to take this off. It's so pretty. I feel so pretty. 
Oh my god! Wait, Loki, the last shoes will match too. Oh, I have frilly socks. Hold up, I'm gonna wear these with frilly socks. <laughs> Okay, this is actually a cute outfit. I was wondering how I was gonna style these, but wow, the universe is just so amazing in that way. Like, it always just makes things work. Okay, I feel like now you guys can see everything. Oh my god, this outfit is so cute. See, I am not a huge lover of ballet flats, but like, you have to understand, a collab between Vivian Westwood and Melissa is just really, just makes my heart feel something, you know? Also, like, I know this is gonna be weird, but like if you've come in contact with Melissa shoes, you know that they have like that really good smell So like they have the smell they have the Melissa smell, but yeah, I just want to show you guys them closer What the fuck is all this noise like really it has the Vivian Westwood logo and like this nice like metal and then the Melissa jelly Material I have so many fond memories of Melissa shoes like going to the outlets like with my mom and like looking at all the fun shoes and like low-key the smell like the smell is nostalgic to me <laughs> always wanted a pair like low-key so I finally got a pair of Melissa's but then Vivian Westwood has been like my recent obsession like I've been learning a lot more about like fashion lately seeing who I like and seeing who I think is inspiring or things that speak to me and Vivian Westwood definitely has been speaking to me so it was like little me and new me are together in one shoe and that made me so happy <laughs> I'm like just like weirdly sentimental about certain things so like weirdly these make me happy but like I don't know where I'm gonna wear these I mean I'm sure I will wear them to like an event but like this outfit I love it but I don't think I would actually like wear it out maybe different pants but the sentimental value was just so much for me that I'm happy. How would you style these? Let me know. Um, and also, if you think they're ugly because they're ballet flats, keep it to yourself. Actually, I don't care. Say what you want to say. Anyway, these are very cute and it's making me feel a little special for my birthday. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we have to do best and worst. I really wanted to start doing that on my channel. I think it would be so fun. Honestly, damn, am I gonna say? Oh my god. I'm putting this as my best. The American Apparel Maxi. I am. It made me feel so good about my body. Like I felt so good in it. It fit me so well, so flattering, my perfect style. Amazing. Love it. Worst. We know. We know. It's this. Poor baby. I'm sorry. But you were the worst of this video. <laughs> okay, let's get to the review. I'll wrap it up quick. I know. I've been here for so long. <laughs> Nogi's here. Hey, sir. Hi, sir. How are you? I want to fix my lip gloss. Can you take over the show for a second? Be good, okay? Review time. Let me tell you my thoughts on Thread Up. Should I start with what I like or what I dislike? I'm going to start with what I dislike so that we end on a good note. <laughs> I... Do not like the way you have to search things. You want to be in the video or not? What's up? <laughs> I don't like the way that you have to search, like their keywords. For example, like if you want to search fairy core or Y2K or butterfly rhinestones, like you can't really search things like that because they don't put those keywords on their items. You have to search by brand or by like specific style, like black bodycon dress or satin pink skirt. That's a big con for me. I feel like it's not good for browsing. Depop, I can search Y2K rhinestones and just like put all my sizes and literally find like so many random things that I would have never found before. And I like that because it's like I'm finding new styles. Thread up, you cannot really browse like that unless you browse through their categories. And it's like, I don't think it's like trendy stuff or not even trendy. Like it's just like not my style, the stuff that they put on their page. If you want to search by brand it's really good for that they have a lot of stuff to be honest my only con is the keyword thing like i just don't like how you can't search for stuff because i'm a big browser i want to browse but like as for pros you can search by brand and you can also save your sizes which i really love another thing is like the package came pretty quickly it shipped out pretty quickly and everything is really really in great condition also they have a lot of shoes i'm a size 5 so it's very hard for me to find shoes sometimes so for them to have so many shoe options i was very very happy like i got three pairs of shoes that all fit me perfectly in this video that's crazy because like shoes do not fit me <laughs> but the fact that they have so much stuff 
makes it so easy to find stuff what else i had a promo code so that was cool i think it's good for when you know what you want and you're just like finding staple pieces but i like that they have like lower end and higher end things and they have really good discounts like a lot of the american apparel stuff is on there for less than ten dollars like that's amazing you're not gonna find that on depop but yeah i would say my overall experience was very good i would shop on it again and if Threadup would like to sponsor me, I would really be into that, so let's talk. But if you guys don't like the smoking thing, I get it. It's not for every brand. It's not for every person. But if you're cool with it, hit me up. <laughs> Noki really wants my love and affection right now, and I'm also hungry. I need to eat dinner. It's 10 o'clock and I didn't eat dinner yet because I've been filming this video. But me and Noki love you guys, right? you love them? I would have to say if he saw you guys in person, he probably would be mean to you at first, but the love could grow. He probably doesn't love you right now, to be honest, but I do, so that's okay. Let me end this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!